Hey guys, like Jeebus be done here. With Dustline just around the corner, I just wanted to make a short video on what I'm excited for, what I think of the changes, and some of the worries I have for the first week of launch. The thing I'm looking forward to most is Valkyrie, one of the two new operators. Valkyrie special allows her to throw and place four additional cameras to aid the defending team. This special is going to be absolutely amazing for roamers such as myself. I will be setting up the cameras in positions that would allow me to flank with ease. With a speed rating of 2, she is going to be a third slower than the defending operators I usually main, those being Jaeger and Recruit, but the same speed as Frost, who I've been playing a bit more lately. In addition to her cameras, Valkyrie has a Sig MPX and, my favourite addition to the loadouts, the Desert Eagle. Along with the Nitro Cell, Valkyrie is shaping up to be my most favourite operator. I believe Frost will no longer be played as much as she was now uh, that her Nitro Cell is being taken away. The reason I believe Frost was loved by so many was her ability to shoot out hatches above the enemy and throw a Nitro Cell down into them. Well, that's why I loved her so much. Her bear traps are now very easily countered by experienced players, making some Frost users not even bother with bear traps. Instead, they take a still, OP, Super 90, and cause some havoc. Like I said a month ago to my fellow clan members, I liked IQ before she was cool. She is getting a nice buff in addition to her finally becoming useful with the implementation of Valkyrie and her cameras. IQ scanner can now detect the shapes of, of the electronics in order to better determine what she is detecting. IQ will be one of the most played operators in the first few weeks, mark my words. Moving on to weapon charms. What the heck? I have little to say about these other than I'm going to feel like a badass from some corny action move that kisses his gun before going into battle. I'm going to wait till I try them out for myself before making any judgments though. Outfits! Yes, please put a bright orange helmet on so I can see your head better. I'll only be using outfits that will let me blend into the environment, but honestly, what are the point of outfits in a first person shooter? Yeah, sure, other people can see it, but I'd rather see myself to be honest. The new map, Border, looks amazing. At least in comparison to the abomination yacht was, well, still is. This brings me to say, do not be surprised if, or when, Players find game-breaking glitches. Yacht had a major glitch that broke the game. A player could get into the ceiling and shoot down into the yacht, albeit only the top floor. Even vanilla maps still have game-breaking glitches. Just be ready and expect people to find ways to glitch outside the map and kill you from impenetrable places. By saying that, I am still excited for what this new map is going to bring. Oh, and don't be surprised if the servers crash from everybody trying to play a siege at the same time. Don't cry in the first few hours of launch, please. In summary, Frost is going to be played less, IQ is now going to be cool, players are going to find ways to glitch outside the new map, weapon charms are going to make you feel like a action movie badass, and outfits are going to make you look good to other players. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video in its different format from what I usually do. Stay tuned for my first Dustline video coming in the next few days. This is Lijibus Be Done, signing out. Have a good one, guys.